Want to improve your surfing? Here are 10 yoga poses every surfer should know. Hey guys, Chris from Stoke Patrol here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get going, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Uh, now as a surfer, I am very aware of the fact that I suck when it comes to flexibility, uh, which inhibits quite a lot of my surfing at the moment. Uh, so I've hit up my friend Echo. Uh, she's an awesome yoga teacher and surfer, and she's gonna talk us through 10 amazing poses that every surfer should know that improve your core strength and your flexibility. So yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to teach you uh, 10 different exercises that you can do for surf, pre-surf or after surf. And so we'll start with the first exercise. So if you have a towel or a t-shirt, anything that you're taking to the beach with you, um, grab something that will help you get your hands together. I'm going to use my turmeric tea towel. So just roll it up if it's a t-shirt, towel, whatever. And we want to bring it back behind us and take a nice inhale, open the chest. And then exhale, slowly fold over as you bend the knees and just reach the arms up behind you. So you can stay here for a full minute and just allow yourself to open the shoulders. And you might want to close the space in the towel or the shirt and get your hands closer to each other. This is going to open across the shoulders a little bit, across the collarbones, and just stay here. And it's as easy as that. So give yourself a minute if you need longer. This is your first exercise. When you're ready, you'll press into the feet and then just slowly come back up and release. Next exercise, just go ahead and drop your right ear to the right shoulder first. Left arm reaches out and bring the right hand overhead to the left ear and pull very lightly. So not very difficult, not very um, charged here. And feel a length through the left side of the neck. And stay here for about 30 seconds. Feel some release. And when you're ready, you'll just switch sides. So take your time. I'm just moving through these more quickly, but take your time in these. And never pull the head down too deeply here. Just very gentle. Feel length through the right side of the neck. And when you're ready, come back to center. Hands on the knees. Take a moment. All right, so next exercise, come onto hands and knees into a tabletop position. And we're gonna inhale, take the right arm up overhead and exhale, bend the right elbow and wrap the right hand underneath the left hip. We're gonna open the right shoulder and then you can drop your head down to the left. You wanna stay here for at least 30 seconds, opening the right shoulder. So begin to create some length here into the side body. And after that 30 seconds, you can go ahead and just drop the right hand down and we switch sides. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, bring the left hand to wrap around into the right hip. Open the left shoulder and let the head drop down. So you'll feel this length through the neck. Actually, we might release some of the lower back as well as we open into the deltoids, into the triceps of the left shoulder. When you're ready, bring that hand down after 30 seconds. And you can just take a rest sitting back onto the heels. Easy as that. All right, so next exercise, sitting back onto the heels, just bring the elbows out to the side, palms facing down, and just begin to twist from side to side. So a little bit of dynamic movement. This is really great before we go out into the surf and just creating some more limberness here in the lower lumbar, stretching through the side bodies, and just keep moving from side to side for about a minute here and just bringing in some energy to the upper body. After a minute, you'll just come back to center, set the hands down and take a pause. All right, so next exercise, we're gonna go ahead and come back up to tabletop position and stretch the arms out in front of you. And we're gonna just melt the chest down towards the ground. So this might be quite intense for those of you that have really, really uh, sore shoulders, so move lightly. If you're able to get the chest all the way down, let the head drop down as well. Maybe the elbows lay down on the ground or stay active. You wanna stay here for a full minute, opening into the back body, into that space between the scapula. And when you're ready, you'll slowly press into the palms and just lift back up. But stay there for at least a minute. And sit back onto the heels. 
and take a beat. All right, so next exercise is gonna be a nice deltoid stretch and tricep stretch. So come onto the belly and come onto the right fingertips to bring the left arm underneath the body. And you want the left forearm to kind of be right under the chest and slowly begin to melt down. So for some of us with shoulders that are really tight, you might not be able to come down all the way. Maybe the right hand stretches forward, maybe you bring your head down. If you've got a pillow or any kind of prop, you can just prop your head up, or you can even stay more upright if the shoulders are super tight. So we slowly begin to work towards the ground. Stay here for at least a minute, and then we just switch sides. So lifting the chest, bringing the right arm underneath the left, left arm stretching forward, and just feel this stretch across the right shoulder. Let the head drop onto a prop or the floor. And again, stay here for a minute, and when you're ready, come back up to center and just end in Sphinx pose, elbows underneath the shoulders, head looking forward. All right, so next exercise, come on to the knees, Step the left foot forward and just sink down into the left knee. So we're opening into the right hip flexor, sinking into Anjaneyasana or low lunge. And bring hands together at heart center and just twist over to the left. Hook your right elbow outside the left knee and we twist through the belly. So this is a great stretch for the lateral side on the right side now. And really good for the lower back, especially after surfing, after all of those pop-ups. This is great to release the lower lumbar. So stay here for at least a minute. And when you're ready, you'll just switch to the other side. So right foot forward, sink into the right knee, hands to heart, twist to the right, left elbow outside the right knee, and really press into the thigh to really twist and wring out the belly and release the lower back. Stay here for a minute. And when you're complete, come back through center Bring the right knee down and sink back towards the heels. All right, so next exercise is cat and cow, a famous amongst the, yog the yogis and maybe surfers without knowing the name. So when you come into your tabletop, take an inhale, drop the belly, look forward, open the heart. On the exhale, round the spine first, bring chin into chest last, so like a cat. Inhale, belly drops, look forward, hips lift. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Continue to do this for about a minute. So inhale, always drops the belly, look forward. And exhale, round the spine, slight bend of the elbows, chin to chest, releasing the lower back, stretching between the scapula. And after your minute, come back to neutral, sit back onto the heels and relax. Next pose, come to sitting on the, on the heels. And go ahead and bring the arms up overhead. You wanna bring the right arm underneath the left arm so you're crossing at the elbows. Palms come together. If this is really tough for you and you're really tight, the palms don't have to come together. So we just wanna open across the scapula. So splay the shoulder blades open. And take an inhale here. Open the heart space, look up. And on the exhale, round the upper back, chin to chest, elbows in. So it might not be that deep for you, that's completely fine. Inhale, open up, and exhale, round in. So this could be micro movements for you. Continue to do this for five rounds. And when you've completed, go ahead and come back to neutral, unwind the arms, and then go the opposite direction. So left arm underneath the right, again, elbows cross, maybe the palms touch or not, depending on how tight the upper back is. On the inhale, open the heart space. And on the exhale, round in, pull the elbows into the belly, splay the shoulder blades here. So we're releasing the upper back. Inhale brings you up, opening the heart. And exhale, pulls you in, opening the upper back. So counter movements here, complete five of those, come back to neutral and unwind, hands on the knees. Next exercise is a little bit more fluid, so bringing that ocean-like quality into our practice. Come into an easy seat, left foot or right foot forward, it doesn't matter, hands on the knees, and we're gonna begin to find circles. So bring the chest down to one side, doesn't matter which, press into the opposing knee, 
and then move through the center nice and low, press into the opposite knee and just begin to make big circles here. So you're kind of pressing the palms into the thighs like you're kneading dough or like a cat does with its paws. And we're just beginning to open up the side bodies, open the hips slightly, and move in that direction for about 30 seconds. And when you're ready, after about 30 seconds, move in the opposite direction. So take your time. There's spaces of curiosity, pause there. And once you've completed, you'll just come back to a neutral position and pause. All right, guys, so the next exercise from your easy seat is to just have the ankles crossed wherever, sit up nice and tall, and you're gonna bring the hands back behind you, fingers tracking back, shoulder blades together, so we're getting a nice heart opening. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, press through the palms, lift the hips, open the heart, look back, head drops back. So we get a nice hip opener, a chest opener, and we stay here for as long as we can. And when we're ready, we'll slowly bring the hips down, bring the head up, and take that easy seat, hands on the knees. All right, guys, next pose, the most famous of all of the yoga poses. Uh, come forward into your tabletop position, tuck the toes under, slowly lift the knees, and press the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Big thing here, slight bend in the knees. So for those of us that have really tight hamstrings and a tight lower back, slight bend in the knees is really gonna help. Press the chest towards the thighs, lift the hips up nice and high, and maybe slowly with time, the heels make their way down to the mat, but it's not imperative. And stay here for a minute or for as long as you need. You might wanna bend into the knees, move hips from side to side. And when you're ready and finished with your downward facing dog, you'll come down to the knees, let them go wide, sink back to the heels, and just end in a child's pose, forehead to the earth. Relax here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed Echo's lesson there. 10 awesome poses for every surfer. Uh, now, if you'd like to learn more about the retreats that Echo runs or maybe join her for a lesson or two online, uh, links are in the description below. So make sure you check them out and check out our website. See you next week. Yo!